In this video, I'm going to show you how to work out for free in London. Welcome to another video. My name is Sebastian and this channel is all about travel and fitness, living your best life, taking in the good vibes while being active, eating a lot of good food, traveling and doing a lot of different exercises. In this video, I was on holiday in London, so I decided to show you how I go about keeping my routine basically when I'm traveling. So this is an example of a nice morning that we had. So I was able to get a nice workout in for free. I did not pay a single penny and I was still able to get my workout in and then enjoy the rest of my day. So we were just strolling around here in London and we walked by Arabica coffee and I'd seen a bunch of people drinking this in Dubai uh, Mike Thurston and stuff he says this is his favorite coffee and I was really curious so I went in and the staff were super super friendly they were really really nice and I said oh yeah I'd seen this uh, in a few videos and they said oh yeah it's really popular in the Middle East blah blah um, but it's a Japanese brand and the the headquarters are in Kyoto and I, I had absolutely no idea and this logo is actually not a percentage it's a coffee bean and a lot of people uh, get it get it confused as I did so the name is of a type of coffee bean Arabica bean uh, and it's actually a Japanese brand so there we go this is just a normal coffee with milk but it also has condensed milk so super sweet that is really really good four pounds twenty not cheap, but we're in London and this is a big brand, so not too far off from Starbucks. Very nice experience. And once again, the staff were really, really amazing. So shout out to them. I'm also going to show you a really nice activity that we went to do, which was the candlelight concert in Covent Garden. That was a really fun experience. So stay tuned and let's get into the video. Right, so first things first, you need to go to Google Maps and search the area where you're staying in or the area which you want to visit for gyms. That's step number one. Usually I advise doing this close to the place where you're staying because that way you can go home for a shower, grab a quick bite, whatever it is, and you don't need to lug your change of clothes around all day. But if you're like me and want to get a workout in anyways, you can obviously just search for a gym anywhere that you're going to be visiting. That will be perfectly feasible as well. So after you've located a few of the gyms around where you're staying or wherever you want to go, all you need to do is have a look at them and see basically which is the one you prefer. Usually if you're like me, you're going to look for a more bodybuilding style gym. You'll have better equipment. They're more flexible also regarding entry fees. Even if you do have to pay, you might only need to pay a single day pass, which shouldn't be too expensive. For example, at Muscleworks, which honestly is the best gym in London, you only need to pay six and a half pounds to train for a day if you haven't seen my video giving you a tour of muscle works please click here and it's just an overall better experience when it's a health club less fun usually you have to pay more but in this specific case i located a gym within the chain called better and from what i can understand there this chain supported by the government something like that it's sort of to promote physical activity in several boroughs so it is a big chain and if you want to buy a day pass it's not very cheap i had a look and it was anywhere between 15 to 20 pounds to to pay for a gym session strangely enough if you want to book a swimming session it's six to seven pounds which is actually not too bad what happened was a friend of mine was enrolled in this gym and he got an email a promotional email saying that they were giving out day passes for free for people to try the gym so all you needed to do was fill out your information and you would get a free day pass i tried to do this online and i was not able to for some reason or another i honestly can't recall so what i did was i showed up to the gym and i said oh hey i knew that i saw that you were offering free day passes and i would like to try the gym and they said, yeah, sure, just fill in your information over there. Pointed me to an iPad and I was able to get in. So I didn't have to pay a single penny. I've had other experiences where I do a little white lie, basically, and I tell them, oh, look, I just moved here. I'm still trying to find a place, everything, but I am looking for a gym. And so I would love to try your gym, see how it feels, blah, blah. Is it okay if I train here for a day and get a feel for it? If it's a big chain, most likely they're not going to let you train for free. But if you're, I don't know, it depends on the rep because they might oblige you to take a full tour of the gym give you the whole spiel talk to you about the prices and you just need to pretend that you're interested honestly and maybe you'll get a free workout in i have done it that way and it, it does work otherwise if it's a, a smaller gym a smaller not a chain just a singular gym odds are they will let you train for free sometimes you can just say oh yeah i'm visiting my family or something like that and i would love to train here for the weekend and even if they don't offer you a free entry maybe they will do you some sort of a discount if you want to train there for a week they might do you a special price for one week this is how 
happened to me a lot as well in this bodybuilding sort of gym. So if you don't ask, you won't get. That is my main tip for finding a gym. Let's have a look at the workout that I had at Better Gym in Highbury and Islington. So after a rainy morning walking around central London, it's time to get a workout in. What did I do? The best thing that you can try and do if you don't want to pay for a gym session, even though you can go and train at Muscleworks for six and a half pounds, which is not too bad, is actually contact the gym via Instagram or email. We'll have a look at their website to see if they have any day passes for free for you to try. So that's what I did here with Better Gym, um, Highbury and Islington. Let's go and have a look. It was honestly pretty well equipped. I was surprised I had trained at other better gyms in England before and they weren't as good as this one. It had a lot of interesting machines, a lot of cables. It had a nice hip thrust machine, a nice chest press machine, a lot of back machines as well, which I was not unfortunately not able to use because I had a bit of a, a nagging tendon here, but still good equipment nonetheless. Also a pretty good leg press. So overall, I was really happy with the session. Let's go and explore Covent Garden. So we were walking around Covent Garden, busy as always, and we were just having a stroll, getting a feel for it. We didn't have anything on our mind because we wanted to kill some time before the concert, and that was the Candlelight concert. And honestly, guys, that was such a cool experience. First of all, it was in this amazing location, St. Paul's Church in Covent Garden. You can wander around, have a look at the shops, have something to eat. We actually saw this amazing place called the Cookie Dough Factory, if I remember correctly, and we wanted to go in, but not before the concert. And then after the concert, we just ended up forgetting and rushing home. There's a lot of stuff to do around there, as you know. Easily you can get to Leicester Square, to Oxford Circus, wherever you want to go. It's very, very central. Also, you can do a lot of shopping around there. So it's actually a perfect location if you're a tourist. The Candlelight concert in itself, the repertoire does change. I'm not sure when it changes, but they have several locations in several cities. This one specifically had a repertoire full of songs from musicals. And so it was really, really cool. They did not allow you to film anything except for the last song. So after we, we clapped and they came back, they did uh, allow us to film and they said specifically, okay, uh, this one, since it's not in our repertoire, please go ahead and film. And if you post this on social media, please tag us. So obviously that was really nice. And I did. So here is the clip that I was able to film. The church was really, really nice. They had Prosecco for sale if you wanted to indulge. The music was really, really good. I love hearing instruments played well, and it's always fun to see these classical instruments adapted to these more pop sort of, of songs. So it was a really, really cool experience. And that is it from me, guys. This is another episode of Travel and Fitness where I show you how I maintain my fitness routine and still enjoy tourism. So I really, really hope you enjoyed it. That is all from me, guys. I will see you in the next video.